Now I'm practicing my blending. Actually, I'm gonna show you. Here's what I might see on a color wheel. Someone who paints yellow, then right next to it, they know they need yellow orange. So there's my yellow orange stripe. And then they do orange right next to it. And then it's red orange. And then it's red. And you can see each individual line. What I'm suggesting is to blend your colors together. So I'm gonna start with yellow and I'm gonna paint a good amount of yellow, pretending this is my background. And then I'm gonna Wash my brush, and I'm gonna start with red. And I'm not gonna to touch the yellow yet because I need some true red. And so I'm gonna start over here and then I'm slowly gonna bring my red into my yellow. You can see it's turning red orange a little bit. I might have to wash my brush again, kind of try to dry it. I'm gonna pick up even more yellow. And I'm gonna blend over that red again. And as I'm doing that, you can see I'm kind of going back and forth and I'm bringing some red back into the yellow. to create a yellow orange. So you can see, I have yellow, there's yellow orange in there, orange, red, orange, red. And I blended it, it's not so separate. And now, just like I did with the red, In fact, I think I need a little more red. I'm gonna paint some more red on here. And then using my blue, and I have the cool blue out right now, so my purple's gonna look a little different. I'm gonna pick up some blue. I'm gonna start over here. And I'm gonna slowly start to bring it in. I need to pick up more red because my red was starting to get dry. I'm gonna go on to that blue and I'm gonna kind of carry it. So I can see my red violet, my violet going into my blue violet. And 
And I even think I need a little more blue over on this side. Yep. Okay, so I blended into my blue. I am just missing my greens. And so I'm gonna pick up my yellow again. I'm gonna start all the way over here. And I'm just gonna start to bring it into my blue. And bring it back into my yellow. Cause I still want my blue green. I still want my green and my yellow green. And then I should still have some yellow. At the end. Now I do this with a large brush. You might have more control with a smaller brush. It's really good if this is a look you're going for. It's really good to practice in your sketchbook. You can see my yellow. And I went through, all the way through the color wheel to my other yellow. Now I have done this before, and so practice, practice, practice. And you can see how much nicer and neater that looks compared to just drawing each individual color on the color wheel. I also, I didn't really have to mix my colors on my palette because they mix as I am blending them together.